You should prepare yourself because the new Premiere Pro features you're about to witness will change your life forever. I actually went to an Adobe event with Jordi and Timo to learn more about these features. We had the chance to ask questions about Premiere and so do you guys. By leaving a comment down below, you will reach Premiere's developers. They will go through all of your questions. Now, Adobe actually has a future vision to bring generative AI into Premiere, like generating music and sound effects, finding B-roll automatically for your videos and so much more. Let us hope this becomes reality one day, but for now, we're gonna check out Premiere's actual new features. To do that, go to the Creative Cloud app. Then under Beta Apps, you can install the beta version, which will unlock some awesome stuff. All right, let's launch Premiere Pro Beta. Feature number one, enhanced speech. This one blew me away. You already know Adobe Podcast, right? It's a super powerful tool where you can upload your clips and turn them into studio quality recordings. Well, now Adobe took this AI and put it inside Premiere. To use this tool, head over to the window menu on top and open up the essential sound panel. Make sure your audio clip is selected. This is one of Jordi's first Premiere tutorials by the way so um, I'm gonna open the motion so if you select this the clip okay if you just click on it now before this update you had to manually choose the type of audio you're working with now Premiere's AI will detect this automatically simply click the auto tag button and there you go oh and look at that an enhanced speech button all you need to do is click it and now your voice will sound amazing with the mix slider you can balance the sound between the original clip and the enhanced audio so um, I'm gonna open the motion so if you select this the clip okay if you just click on it. That is so awesome, but wait until you hear about the second feature, which is detecting and deleting pauses and filler words like um and hmm. <laughs> Let me show you. This is my studio recording from last week. First, we need to transcribe it. To do that, go to the window menu on top and find the text panel. Once it's open, click on transcribe. Let Premiere do its thing and when it's done, you can see the entire transcript in here. Now, when you navigate through the text, you can literally see the playhead in the timeline move around. You can even select text you don't want and delete it. Premiere will then also delete that selection in the timeline. Now, to remove pauses and fill words, go to the filter icon on top. Here you can choose, for example, the pause. Pauses. Every pause will be highlighted in your transcript. When you hover your mouse over it, you can even see the duration of it. Now you can right click it and delete it, but you can also delete all of them at once. To do that, click the delete button. Here you can see two options, extract and lift. Extract means it's gonna cut away the pauses and the gap in between will be closed. When you select lift, the pauses will also be removed, but the gaps won't close. I choose extract and now to delete all the pauses, click delete all. And there you go, you just saved so much time. Feature number three, saving project templates. Guys, this will change my life. I have so many different Premiere templates, but all of them are saved in a folder, inside a folder, inside another folder. Yeah. Well, now you can save your project, including assets, in the project window as a template. To do that, go to File then save as template. Give it a name, for example, Premiere Basics or whatever. Now, when you create a new project, you can choose this template from the drop-down menu as a starting point. This is super, super time efficient and I love it. All your folders, assets are all preloaded. Even stuff you've put in the timeline, like these backgrounds and text templates will be there ready for you. I actually got these assets by downloading them from inside Premiere. It's actually super simple to edit. Once it's downloaded, change the text in the essential graphics panel and bam, you've got yourself a text animation. Oh, by the way, this plugin is actually coming from Storyblocks. They're sponsoring this video. Now, you can download more than just templates. This is one of my favorite backgrounds that I use for animations all the time. You'll probably recognize it. You can find a million high-quality royalty-free stock assets from all over the world. You need some B-roll to enhance your videos, just type it in and there you go. And all of that in HD and 4K resolution. If you need some music or sound effects, the plugin got you covered. All you need to do is click the download button and bam, it's in the project window. Now, we also have our very own landing page full of videos that we shot especially for you. Most of them are shot in a lock profile and that way you have all the control and color grading the footage. Now on other stock websites you need to pay an expensive price per clip that you download. But on Storyblocks you can get everything for one set price. And you can choose to pay it monthly or annually. Storyblocks saved me so much time every single day and I truly recommend it to any creative. So take back creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today by going to starblocks.com forward slash premium your basics or just click the link below. Now let's check out some more brand new features. So when you export a video in Premiere and then open it in QuickTime, your video can look completely different. There is a way you can fix this by adjusting some settings and applying a gamma compensation LUT. Sounds like a lot of work. Well, 
Not anymore. Now when you're in Lumetri, head over to the settings tab. Under project settings, you can adjust the viewer gamma to QuickTime. Make sure the display color management is enabled. This will make sure that the correct color values are being displayed on any monitor. Applying an input LUT on the source of your video has become super easy as well. Next up are some small but very useful features. For example, the timeline is now five times faster when it comes to editing and trimming. It's much more responsive and everything feels super smooth. I used to have an issue with bigger projects when dragging graphic layers Every action I did took like 3 seconds. I tested the exact same project in beta and the issue seems to be gone. Awesome right now, speaking of performance, Remember the corner pin effect? Yeah, it was completely unusable, but now the effect is GPU accelerated. And that means that it runs as smooth as in After Effects. Next, the brand new Effects Manager. Now, to open it up, click the menu on the Effects panel, then choose Video Effects Manager. In this window, you will see a complete list of all your installed effects. If needed, you can easily disable or re-enable them. This is useful when one of your plugins is causing crashes. That way, you don't need to uninstall them to be able to continue editing. Awesome, but what if your project crashed anyway? No worries. When you reopen Premiere, you will see this red pop-up at the bottom where you can easily reopen your project. Premiere can then fully recover your work. However, if you wish to revert your project to the last time you saved it, simply go to File and then click on Revert. That is awesome, but hey, you still need to optimize Premiere so that you can finish your work even faster. And to do that, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.